Hey guys, so it's time here to check out Android 5.1 Lollipop here uh, on the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 here. So let's take a look at it. So you can see here, it has these uh, quick access to changing Wi-Fi and also Bluetooth, uh, which we do get inside of Android uh, 5.1. Uh, you can also see here, very, very nice. Uh, if we go in here, uh, you can see that this is a pretty cool build. Uh, Android Ice Cold project, Android 5.1 here, as you can see. I like it. Uh, and why do I like it? Well, I do like it because if we go in here to extras, you can see how much you can change. They have an uh, ad blocker. Uh, over the air stuff, you can get new updates here. Uh, app circle. There's so much shit, there's so much much things that you can change. Recent, uh, recent panel settings, display and animations, the status bar. Uh, this one's pretty cool. Adjust brightness by sliding across the status bar. So you can slide up here to change brightness. I gotta say, that's pretty impressive. That's pretty nice. <coughs> um, you can also have a logo up there if you want, their own logo, battery settings. Uh, yeah, a ton of things. Even change the boot animation uh, and a ton of other things. Uh, also, if you go back here into performance, you can see in the normal profile is balanced, but if you want to have more power saving there, that's well born performance mode. That's what I'm using at the moment. You can also see that it's probably like uh, rooted as well. Uh, this specific version I'm running on, which is uh, some pretty cool stuff. You can download more cool stuff. Uh, from the Google Play Store because I have all of the Google Google apps well as well. You can also customize a ton of buttons, backlit backlight if you wanna uh, want that to be disabled or enabled. You can see here Google Play for Android 5.1. It's also having a very very great speed. Uh, this device seems to be definitely a little bit like optimized. So I definitely do enjoy that. And let's see here, you can also see the card based UI. Let's just open up some more apps. No lag here as well. Uh, when we bring up the dialer, which a lot of phones have suffered from in Android 5.1. I can't get the camera to work though. Oh, wait a sec. Now the camera's working. Wow. Nice. It didn't work in when I tried it just a couple of hours ago, but since oh, there we go, can't connect to the camera. So it seems like it's a little bit glitchy sometimes, uh, the camera over there. But you know, everything else seems to be pretty fine. And uh, let's just bring up some more apps here, and I'm gonna bring up the card based UI. Let's just bring up the file manager. Bring up a clock. So you can kind of see here, very, very nice performance. You can also close everything pretty quick here with that little button. That is also very, very nice uh, design there on the button. Uh, you can also go in here. Very, very quick how it launches those things. Wallpapers, widgets, and all of those good things. You can also see here on the power menu, it's pretty intense. You have a lot of things you can change and tweak. Uh, I love this power menu. Definitely shows the power of Android there with so much stuff you can tweak. Volume settings here, a ton of different settings. It's also looking very, very professional. So do enjoy that as well. So yeah, quickly a video checking it out here on the uh, uh, Galaxy Note 4. Hopefully you did enjoy, and I might do some more speed test videos with it, uh, see how it performs, but it looks quite nice. So yeah, I enjoyed it.
Have a nice day. Peace.